Okay, I accidentally went over my time on uh, the second recording, so I can't remember where I left off. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'll just do it again, because anyway, learn by repetition, so... Okay, so again, um, we'll go ahead and just start over. Because when we learn from repetition, so first thing we do is we doll our rectangle, and the, sh the shape of you know the length of this rectangle here really is going to determine the kind of overall style of your body when you're all done. And we cut it in half. You know, the longer the rectangle, the more supermodel you'll have. Remember, a little bit below the halfway point is our belly button. And that half length, that length right there, a little bit less than that half length. You want to make that length come. You can remember, you can measure it all if you wanted to. Then cut off the neck, and then that's going to be our head. The head looks, the head always looks small, but after you add the hair, you know, and the neck, it really, it's normal. We're going to add the shoulders on the inside of the uh, block. And the hips will come to the edge of the block. That way the hips are a little bit wider than the shoulders. Okay, so then we remember the next thing we had to do is duplicate that rectangle down at about that same length. And then I'm going to just kind of imagine the halfway point there. And that, that length, a little less than that length, we'll duplicate it down here and then cut off the feet about like that. Then we remember from here to here, and we remember we have this shape here for the crotch. And that halfway halfway between here and here, you have your knees. And then we can draw our little square. And that will be our knees. Now that I'm going to show that this is correct to you really quick. The arms come down the elbow just above the the, uh, where, where the, see where that pinches in like this, the hourglass, so where that you have the where, where the belly button is, you can notice you have your triangle coming in and then your hips coming out. So right at that cut there, that curve, that's where the belly button is, and right above that is where the bend of the arm is, where the elbow is. So it's just above the belly button. And then the wrist comes down just above the crotch, and sometimes it comes down to the crotch, it really just depends on the person and then you know sometimes the hands bottom of the hands go a little bit past the crotch or a lot past the crotch so knowing that then we can draw our arms in knowing that the elbows are going to you know be about like that and remember that this same length here you have for your arms this from there to there is almost the same length as from there to there so it's about the same so you just want to memorize relations and then the hand will come down a little bit past the crotch, uh, like that. Okay, so we added a little bit more information. So far, this isn't a lot of information to memorize. So it, you know, if, if you've been drawing along with me and, and doing this as you're watching on paper or something, you probably already pretty much have at least this part memorized. Square, you know, belly button goes there, square, you know, about half, a little less than halfway, a little less than halfway, head, neck, shoulders. You should at least have that memorized and then that. So not, that's no big deal. You can, you can memorize that. And then the next thing, uh, we're going to add more information again. Each time adding more and more information until, you know, we get the basic human figure memorized. Is remember that from here then, is we can start our hips. So and the widest part is going to come to there. So I'm going to draw upward. And it's going to be kind of like a shape like this. OK, so you can already see that part of the female body now where you have that memorized. And then it's going to have this kind of shape like this. You can add that then. So now you just have this kind of you know, oval shape and oval shape. 
and you have your knees. So far, so good. Again, we're not trying to draw the figure yet. We're just trying to memorize the relationships between shapes. That way, when you do start drawing the figure, you'll, you'll be able to knock the basic um, proportions down correctly, and then you can draw the figure on top of that. Now, there's two things you want to memorize here. You can either memorize the rib or two things you could memorize here. You can memorize the rib cage, which kind of goes like this. And it's probably a good, good idea just to memorize the rib cage anyway. So there. And then remember you have that skin is actually going to be like that, though, that hourglass figure. So you kind of just memorize this kind of like a triangle up here. So for now, we'll just kind of memorize this triangle shape. And then you're going to have two triangle shapes like this. And that part's important to memorize. I'll make them black for now. Okay, so. And the reason why you want to memorize um, these, see, because you have those triangle shapes like that. See that? It's important to memorize that because it'll help when you're drawing the figure to remember, oh yeah, that's right, the, there's a lot more space in between there, between the breasts and the shoulders. Shoulders are a lot bigger than people realize when you're drawing, and so it's good to memorize that now. And then you'll have, you know, you have the ribcage in here, you know, like we had, see that? Like we had drawn there, so. Of course, the, the next thing then to, um, I wonder if I should start from scratch one more time just for, by repetition. Um, anyway, you want to do the, you know, start and practice all that, you know, memorize all those those parts and, and, and keep doing that until you get it memorized, until you at least get to this part here. And, and when, once you're able to do all that by memory, to get to here by memory, that's good. So, so I, what I would do is I would stop and practice and at least get to this point here by memory. Once you're able to draw this by memory, each and every time, you know, in different different heights and different, you know, if you want a really short person, then almost make it a square and and you know and mess around with these different proportions. Remember, keep the relations the same though. About halfway up, then you have your you know your head and your neck and you know about the same length and you know go same thing, but start with something that looks more like a square, and you're gonna get a different body when you're finished. And try starting with a square. See what you come up with if, if you start with a square. You know, you can, you can actually start with a with pretty much a square shape. Duplicate that square shape. You know, a little bit, you know, about half. And then, you know, about that same half. And what you're, and then that, you know, from there to there. <laughs> What you're going to end up with is this kind of, uh, just going to kind of show you. See? So you kind of end up with uh, more of a kid body. So, you know, mess around different lengths to that initial square and you'll get different bodies the longer this the longer the square or rectangle the uh, more supermodelish okay now we're able to then move on to uh, I guess the the next shapes after we get to this point here we need to start then figuring out the details like well where did the breast go then and uh, and then of course you know doing this this exact same thing for the male body um, and again, the, the male is not much different than the female, so it's really just where the belly button goes and that kind of thing, and, and the hips and everything. So uh, the breast pretty much, when, when you when you fit the breast in, is they're going to kind of set, you know, pretty much right um, where the like that. Oh, anyway, we'll get in that next video. Well, I got I still got like 40 seconds, so yeah, they, they, that's where they pretty much go. They pretty much go right. Imagine like a face, um, like this is the sad like that, so that's where they go. But the last 10 seconds you can see, um, you see how the rip kids there, and her breasts are a little bit higher, they're not that big, but bigger breasts go down a bit further. Leave comments, thanks.